What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Southern Leisure Outdoors. As you can see, we've got the Havoc. She's all loaded down, ready to go. We're hoping for a little bit better weekend. Last weekend was kind of tough. We saw thousands and thousands of teal, just we weren't on the right line. We're hoping that uh, this, this morning coming, that we can make a little bit better of an adjustment and hopefully get right on the birds. We're gonna be taking you guys back into the marsh in Southeast Louisiana down in Cutoff at the Para Hilton lease. You guys stick around. See, we're always working here at the Para Hilton. Red's over here, unbustling. What is that, pound six, seven for the whoop grass? Don't know, but we're in the process of getting our blinds ready for North Dakota. We're T minus 30 days and counting. See here at the Para Hilton, we're not only primed up for teal season, but we're also getting things ready for North Dakota. Red's got the new final approach knockout, the lightweight edition here. Got the flag locker, got the slits in the side of it to where you can open up the hands and put the flags, call the geese in. Red's over here draping away the whoop grass so that way he can finish brushing up this blind and man, we can't wait to get up to North Dakota. So shooting the blue wing down here in Southeast Louisiana is gonna have to do till we can make our march up to Minot. But man, Final Approach sure did a really nice job with this blind and I can't wait to give you guys a review on it after we put it through the test here in a couple of weeks. And man, it's just gonna be a great time. Now I'm sure all of you guys that are duck hunters are big fans of Phil Robertson and this is one of his specialties, which is these fried hamburgers and peanut oil. We're always eating good here at the Para. Got a light crew this weekend. It's just me, Gabe, and Red. Always football on and always work going on. Never stops, does it, Red? Never stops. But hey, it's why we do it. We love it. Got to keep the spirit of the Para Hilton alive. Getting ready to take off. Uh, neighbors are over here getting ready to get after it too. college trial one more time see what happens weekend number two here at the para hilton got a new special guest here with us mr gabe musso he missed last weekend for homecoming say what's up gabe hello what's up gabe what's up gabe yeah. and we're back out here on the western side where we started our initial journey got the spread set there were several people at the boat launch, so we're hoping for the best, but uh, you know, we'll let you guys know what happens here in about roughly 20 minutes. A lot slower of a day today. We had three come in, cable fired three shots, no meat floating, but seeing a few flocks, but nothing near like what last weekend was. This is what we've been reduced to. All the ducks that were here last weekend, where'd they go, Gabriel? I missed. How many times? Three. Three times. 
And then look, there's a big flock flying way over there, but doesn't want to come in over here. Very, very sparse today. Don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow, but we're gonna have to make some type of adjustment. Not only are we not killing any teal, now we've got this guy who keeps flying grid patterns over cloverly. Don't understand it, but he sure is dipping and darting and he's really not helping the situation for the few ducks that are around here. Fred, tell us about your new form of camouflage. Viet Cong style. Viet Cong style. The ducks will never see you, bud. Nope. There aren't any two seagulls. What? There aren't any two seagulls. That's all right. He's ready. Mm -hmm. That's uh, it's entertaining, bud. Ain't good enough, it seems. Red's headed to take the Browns to the Super Bowl. And we don't want to be anything to be a part of that. At all. morning for this weekend update goose egg this hasn't been good over here at the for this uh 2024 teal season so we're gonna pack this all up head back to the cave clean up and call it a wrap Well guys, that's a wrap on the weekend. Uh, as you can see from the previous video and then from the recent one you just watched, it was a struggle for us. And here at Southern Leisure Outdoors, we're not gonna hide that. We don't kill limits all the time. Anybody that tells you that they do, they're full of crap. It's part of teal hunting, you know. The previous weekend, we saw an absolute metric ton of teal. This weekend, not so much. We had a couple of opportunities, very, very slim margins to get them in they turned into Houdini ducks, but we always had a good time and that's the main focus of this channel here. So that's another thing we want you to do is really like and subscribe. We appreciate you following us and we're gonna catch you guys around on the next one.